Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to combine the Windows 10 and Windows 11 ISO installers into a single ISO. Let us start. For the purpose of this tutorial, you need to download Windows 10, Windows 11 and a software by the name of Anyburn. I have put down the download links in the video description. Now let's proceed to the first step. For the first step, you need to download the Windows 10 ISO, which I have already downloaded. Now right click on the Windows 10 ISO and open it with Windows Explorer. After it is opened, open CMD and run it as administrator. Now you need to type this command. And now open Sources folder inside Windows 10 ISO and search for install.esd file. Right click on the file and select copy as path. Open CMD again. Remove this text and where it is written image file. Paste the installation path or paste the path of the install.esd file and press enter from your keyboard. Here, as you can see, that this ISO contains multiple editions of Windows 10. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will separate the Windows 10 Pro from this ISO. Now you need to type the second command. I have put down the command down below in the video description. Copy it from there and then paste it in CMD. Let's expand this CMD command prompt. Now you need to edit multiple parts of this command where it is written source image file in here. Open the Windows 10 ISO sources folder, then right click on the install.esd file and select copy as path. Open the CMD again. Now paste the path in this part of CMD and remove the brackets. After that, where it is written source index, you need to type the Windows 10 edition that you want to export it. For me, it is Windows 10 Pro, so the index number is 6. So I will write down 6 in here. Now we need to create a new folder where the Windows 10 Pro install.wim file will be stored in there. Let's create a new folder inside drive D. Here, as you can see, that I have already created a folder. Let's copy the path and open the CMD again. And paste the path in here. Type backslash and then type install.wim. Press enter from your keyboard and it will separate the Windows 10 Pro edition and will store it inside this folder with the name install.wim. As you can see guys, that the process is 100% completed. Now let's open the folder that we created in drive D. Here as you can see, that the size is 4.10 GB. It contains the Windows 10 Pro. Now for the step 2, you need to download the Windows 11 ISO and do the same process as we did in the Windows 10. As I have already downloaded the Windows 11 ISO, so Let's unmount the Windows 10 ISO and mount the Windows 11 ISO in a state. After it is opened, here you need to find the install.wim file. This is the file that we need to check for. Open CMD again. Now type this command and open the Windows 11 ISO. Copy the install.wim path and paste it inside CMD. Remove the brackets from the end and press enter from your keyboard. Here, as you can see, that this Windows 11 ISO has multiple editions. We will extract the Windows 11 Pro. So you need to type the second command now. Type this command and let's open the 
Windows 11 ISO, copy the install.wim file path. Now paste the path after the sources image file in here and remove the brackets. As you can see that the Windows 11 ISO, which is Pro, the index number is 6. So I will write down 6 in here. Now we need to create a new folder to extract the Windows 11 ISO Pro file in there. Let's create a new folder. Let's copy the path, open the CMD again, and we will paste the folder path in here. And after that, we will type backslash and install .wim. This command will separate the Windows 11 Pro ISO and will store it inside the folder inside Windows 11 Pro with the name of install.wim. Now press enter from your keyboard. As you can see guys that the operation is successful. Now let's check that whether the install.wim inside Windows 11 folder is created. Yes, and the size is 4.05 MB. Now we need to check that whether the files that we created, which is install.wim of Windows 10 and the install.wim file of Windows 11, both of them contains which type of edition of Windows. Now you need to type this command. Paste the command and let's copy the Windows 11 install.wim path and paste it inside CMD. Here as you can see that the install.wim contains only Windows 11 Pro. Let's do the same for Windows 10. Here, as you can see, that the Windows 10 install.wim file also contains Windows 10 Pro only. Now we will combine the Windows 10 and Windows 11 install.wim files into a single file. The source file will be the Windows 10 install.wim file and the destination file will be the install.wim of Windows 11. Now you need to type this command. As I previously said that the source image file will be the Windows 10 install.wim file and the file path is in here. I will copy it from there and will paste it in here. And the source index number is only one because it contains only one Windows 10 edition and the destination will be install.wim file of Windows 11. The path is already written. The path is already written, now I will paste it here. I inserted the wrong formula. Now press enter from your keyboard. Let's check. As you can see guys, that in the Windows 11 install.wm file size is 4.05. We will check it after the operation is done and we will check that whether the size has deferred or not because this command will merge the Windows 10 and Windows 11 installation files into a single one. As you can see guys, that the operation is successful. Now let's close CMD and let's open the Windows 11 install.wim file. As you can see, the install.wim of Windows 11 file size is changed to 7.7 GB. Now let's proceed to the next step for which you need to download and install the software named AnyBurn. After you have installed the software, open the AnyBurn software this time we will be editing an image. Click on edit image file. 
then click on open button select the image that you want to edit I will edit for example this Windows 11 edition click on open click on next now open sources folder and find the install.wim file here as you can see inside Windows 11 it is install.esd file remove it click on yes and instead we will add this install.wim file which we have created click on add button navigate to this folder select the file and click on add button then click on next where you want to save it I will save it for example in this path and let's give it a name now click on create now to create the ISO file as you can see guys that the image has created successfully let's exit this software here as you can see that the file size is 8.37 GB. It contains both Windows 11 and Windows 10 Pro. Now let's test this file using a virtual machine. I will be using the Hyper-V virtual machine. Let's create a new virtual machine. I will give it a name for example Windows Test and I will store it in Drive C. I will go with the first generation that's okay and I will assign for example 4 GB of RAM and the hard disk will be 60 GB click on next this is the step where we need to select the ISO that we have created which is inside Drive D and Windows 11 Pro folder I will select the ISO and let's browse for it go to Drive D and let's open the Windows 11 Pro folder let's select the ISO click on open click on next and then click on finish after the virtual machine is created now let's turn it on that whether it contains the Windows 11 and Windows 10 Pro both of them or not let's click on next then click on install now I will activate the Windows letter so let's select the I don't have a product key option here as you can see guys that this ISO only contains two edition of Windows 10 and Windows 11 the first one is Windows 11 Pro and the second one is Windows 10 Pro which we created it manually and that's all for today guys I hope this video have helped you Thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.